All right. Um, Toby the Tank wanted me to talk about uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers waving Andrew Bogut. And here are my thoughts about it. It's a very, very unfortunate and even perhaps even heart-wrenching situation for Andrew Bogut. I mean, it's hard to feel sorry for multimillionaires, but uh, this situation is all fucked up, okay? Um, he turned down a lot more money to play with the Houston Rockets, uh, I think $3 million, to <coughs> play with the Cleveland Cavaliers for $383,000 in the hopes of having another championship ride. Uh, I guess, you know, having played with a championship team, the Golden State Warriors, uh, at this stage in his career, this is what he wanted, you know. you know, um, No longer interested in statistical achievements, he's interested in winning championships. That's why he went to this club. And then just 58 seconds into his debut, he fractures his fibula. And now he's going to have rehabilitation in Australia. Uh, at, at the age he is, I think he's 34, 35 years old, with a history of injuries. And some of these injuries are happening more and more often. It was just game five of the 2016 NBA Finals that he injured his leg. So what this is telling you is that uh, these frequent injuries to his extremities, his legs, it's telling me that his body is breaking down from the wear and tear plane, okay? Because uh, the type of injury that he had, uh, I'm not saying it's like Shaq going up the court and, and getting it, you know, I'm not saying it's like an injury like that, but quite like that, but I think his body is telling him something, you know what I mean? Um, he's had injury problems before, but to get injured in the manner that he did just 58 seconds to his debut and just an 11-day stint with the team, I don't know, man. It, his, his career may be in jeopardy. It might be time to face the fact that maybe his career is done. I, I'm, um, maybe I'm wrong. Um, maybe, you know, he will play again 2017, 2018. Um, but I would think now a guy that's been injured like this, many teams will be very – wary of signing him to any type of big money, you know what I mean, any type of significant contract, his stock has gone way down. Uh, you know, everybody wanted a piece of Andrew Bogan because of the championship aura that he had, you know, made him almost like sort of a, a uh, you know, people were looking at him sort of like a, I don't know, um, I'm trying to think of a center. They were sort of looking at him like a poor man's Bill Walton or something. I mean, I know he's nowhere near Bill Walton's caliber. But, you know, it's like that's that's the, the feel you got the way we're talking about this guy. And now they're going to look at him as what he what he really is, is a skilled big man who is on the decline in his career, has injury problems. And now his injuries are coming more and more frequent. His stock is going to be way down. No one's going to sign him for any exponential amount of money. Uh, maybe some team will sign him in some type of capacity. Maybe the Cleveland Cavaliers next year, uh, depending on where they are, maybe they might sign him in a reduced role, uh, you know, a backup type situation where he doesn't have to log many minutes, lower in the rotation. Uh, but if he's going to come back, I think that he has to accept that he's going to play in an even more reduced capacity than he's used to because clearly there's something – uh, wrong there. Um, but his them waving him makes room for Larry Sanders, a guy who hasn't played in two years, a guy who's had a history of drug use. Um, hopefully he got his life, he's gotten his life in check, and hopefully he could be a, a big contributor to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Maybe it just wasn't meant to be for Andrew Bogan to play with the Cleveland Cavaliers. It just wasn't meant to be. Um, so maybe he's meant to play for um, another club, or maybe it's, it's meant that his career is over. Uh, but tell me what you guys think.